Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the force F creates a moment about point O. The Cartesian vector representation of the moment about point O is given. If the force passing through a point having an x coordinate of 1 meter determine the y and z coordinate of the point. Also realizing that MO is equal to F into D, MO magnitude is equal to F into D. Determine the perpendicular distance D from point O to the line of action of force F. Note the figure shows F and M in an arbitrary position. So we are given force F and we are given the Cartesian vector representation of the moment of that force about point O. We are given this vector which is minus 14i plus 8j plus 2k and the units are in Newton meter. Similarly, we are given force F and that force F is passing, passing to that point P. So, this force is 6i plus 8j plus 10k. So, we can find the moment about point O that by find we can find it by taking the cross product of the moment arm and that force f which is passing through that point p so we have to define our moment arm and we can define our moment arm from from o to p this can be our moment arm right so we can say that this is our moment arm from from o to p and we can find this moment arm from O to P by traveling along the X, Y and Z from point O to reach that point P. So to reach that point P from O, we need to travel 1 meters in the X. So 1 meters along the positive I. Uh, y meters are, we can say that Y units along the J. So I will write plus Y, J. And then Z units along the K. So plus Z, K. So this is the position vector from O to P. So I will write that the position vector from O to P. Now we can write this as, as a determinant. We can write this as I, J and K. And then the components of the position vector first are the moment arm first, right? So we will write 1, then Y and then Z. And then the component of the force F which is 6, 8 and 10. And this, this is equal to MO and we are given that MO is equal to this. So this is minus 14I plus 8J plus 2K. Now we can find this, we will consider this as plus I, this is minus J, this is plus K to find the determinant and then uh, we will hide this row and this column. So that will be plus I multiply by 10 into y is 10y minus 8z then we will hide this so we will multiply it with minus j minus j and then 10 into 1 is 10 minus 6z and then plus k and 8 into 1 is 8 and minus 6y and this is equal to that minus 14i plus 8j plus 2k. So now I can write this j here as well. This is multiplied by j and this is multiplied with k and this is multiplied with i. Now if we compare both sides of the equation, so we can say that 10y minus 8z 10y minus 8z, this is equal to minus 14. And similarly, we have that minus sign here, right? So that is that was minus j. So this is minus uh, minus into 10 minus 6z, and this is equal to 8. And similarly, 8 minus 6y equals to 2. So from this equation, we can say that 10 minus 6z is equal to minus 8. If I remove this, if I divide both sides of the equation by minus sign. And then we can say that 
if I bring this 10 to the other side of equation, so it will become minus, right? So it will be minus 10. So this is minus 6z and this will become minus 18. And if we divide both sides of the equation by minus 6, so we will get 3. So z is 3 meters. Similarly, from this equation, if I bring this 8 to the other side of the equation, so it will become negative. And that will be minus 6y and this will be minus 6. And if we divide both sides of the equation by minus 6, we will get y equals to 1 meters. Now, the, the coordinates of point P through which this force F is passing is x is 1 meter, y is 1 meter, and z is 3 meters. And similarly, this equation will, will check our results if they are correct or not. So, if I put that y and z value in this equation, so y is 1 and z is 3. So, this gives us 10 minus 24. So, that gives us minus 14. So, this verif verifies our answer for y and z. Now, in the problem statement, it is said that find this perpendicular distance. If we know that the magnitude of the moment about point O is equal to f into d. So, we can write that, I will write that f into d is equal to m O. And we are given this m O, we can find its magnitude. So, m O magnitude will be equal to this 14 square plus 8 square plus 2 square. This is actually minus 14 square, but minus square does not matter. It will give us, and the square will always give us positive value. So, we can only take the squares of the component magnitude. So, that is 14 square plus 8 square plus 2 square. And then if we take the square root, so that will give us M O magnitude. So, that is, uh, Fourteen square plus eight square plus two square. So this gives us the magnitude is sixteen point two five approximately. So this is sixteen point two five Newton meter. Now we know M O and we know uh, F. We can find F magnitude as well. So by same by using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find the F magnitude. So that is that will be 6 square plus 8 square plus 10 square. So 6 square plus 8 square plus 10 square this gives us 14.14. So this is approximately 14.14 Newton. And now we want to find that perpendicular distance. So from this equation, we say that perpendicular distance is M O divided by F and M O is 16.25 and divided by F magnitude is 14.14. So 16.25 divided by 14.14. This gives me D equals to 1.15 meters approximately. So D is 1.15 meters. So, this is that perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force F which is passing through point B, uh, point P. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy if this helps in your learning.